Very few cars cover miles like the Bentley Continental GT. There's something about the quality and the hushed relentlessness of the performance. They just sweep you along at unmentionable speeds with such ease. Be it the baby V8 or the big bad W12 speed, the GT feels all powerful. But now there's a new GT that offers more of everything. Just in case you need to drive to the moon or somewhere, I suppose. This is the new Bentley Continental Super Sports and it is a car defined by huge numbers. 700 horsepower, 1,017 newton meters of torque, 209 miles an hour, 2,280 kilos. Now I can hear the cries of derision already over that weight figure, but I also know that these Bentley Continentals are always way more fun than you'd expect and that its predecessor, which only had 621 horsepower, was a riot to drive. So let's look beyond those shock and awe figures, try and get under the skin of this car with Paul Jones, Programme Director and a man who has driven this car for thousands of miles on road and track. The plan with this car was to create the ultimate Continental, a bit like we did with the first generation of Super Sports. So we were looking for the most powerful Bentley ever, the fastest Bentley ever, the quickest accelerating Bentley ever. The W12 was uh, 642 PS, um, 620 pounds feet in the uh, GT speed. So to get beyond that, we needed to have a significant redesign of the top end of the engine around larger turbochargers. We need more boost and we couldn't obtain those from the current turbochargers. So we designed a completely new turbocharger installation with two larger turbos. Had to change the plumbing on the engine then in terms of intake, exhaust and charge air cooling system. And we've also put new charge air coolers on the car as well. At the end of the day, it's not just about more boost, but it's about increasing the charge air density as well. The car's got huge power reserve, over um, 750 pounds feet of torque. It's just effortless all the time. You know, we wanted to give the car some character as well, so we specified the option of a titanium exhaust system, uh, and that gives the car a sort of unique character for the W12 as well. And you know, particularly um, at 4,000 RPM upwards, uh, if you down change, you get this lovely sort of rifle bolt crack in the exhaust, and our customers love that. So the transmission is a eight speed ZF, fully automatic, with a 4060 front rear torque split. We've got a unique torque converter on the car, matched to the torque and power characteristics of the um, 710 PS engine to give optimum uh, take up and acceleration. Um, incidentally, 0 to 60 is less than three and a half seconds, 0 to 100 comes up in a fraction over seven seconds. Um, we've also done a full durability test on that transmission to ensure it can take that extra power and torque. And we've also got a, um, a sport shift facility in S and also at sort of high throttle openings in, in D as well. A kind of slightly more extrovert appearance was important to our customers. So you can see in the front of the car here, we've got the unique front bumper arrangement. We've got the signature bonnet vents of a Super Sport. Uh, we've got a unique carbon fibre splitter at the front here, which is aerodynamically matched to the fixed rear spoiler on this coupe. Basically, we've done a lot of aerodynamic work to ensure we've got optimum front rear lift balance at high speed. Obviously, you know, the car's capable of 209 miles an hour, so um, we wanted optimum stability right the way up to VMAX. We've saved weight uh, with carbon ceramic brakes and the uh, lightweight forged aluminium wheels. So between those two, they save over 20 kilograms, and importantly, that's unsprung mass. Um, there's further weight saving with the optional titanium exhaust system, but then there's a whole host of other small savings which add up to the total of 40 kilograms. 40 kilograms weight saving with 710 PS and 750 pounds feet of torque translates into 10% power to weight increase over the previous generation of super sports and 25% torque to weight increase. But we wanted to make the car dynamic as possible, so obviously it's four-wheel drive, but we've got 60% of the torque going to the uh, rear axle. Um, to endow it with a, a bit more agility, we specified torque vectoring by brake on this car, which is a, a first for a W12 engined Continental. We've also reprogrammed the um, electronic stability program um, to intervene a little bit later to make the drive a little bit more involving for the driver as well. So that's the Super Sports. It's not a GT in the mould of the fantastically angry Aston Vanquish S or the rabid Ferrari F12, but you've got to admire Bentley for doing their own thing and to such extremes. I expect it'll be quite a car to experience and even better to live with. 
Paul's favourite thing about the Super Sports will probably keep the owners pretty happy too. I think his performance, its straight line performance is just staggering. I mean, I drove the car for 400 miles yesterday over the Alps from Milan to Stuttgart and it's just breathtaking, it really is.